Amen. Very familiar scripture. The Bible says that we're overcomers. Amen. By the word of our testimony and the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. You can go on reading it. said they love not their life unto death. But praise God. Uh, we are overcomers because of the testimony uh, that we have of the goodness of God. Uh, amen. God is a good God. Uh, uh, praise be to God. And we understand that. Just as the uh, young rich ruler come to Jesus and called him good master. Uh, and he said, why callest thou me good? Uh, he said, there's none good but my father. Praise God. Uh, I hope tonight that we can be in an encouragement to you. Uh, praise God. Uh, uh, our voice is kind of uh, in and out, but it'll be all right. Praise God. Uh, uh, preaching and uh, uh, bush hogging. Praise God. The bush hogging, uh, uh, not very good. It was very dry, but praise God. Uh, I thank God, Brother Dave, I, I was able to get on that tractor. Uh, uh, praise God. And I was able to get back off that tractor. I, I didn't roll it. I didn't turn it. I, I didn't flop it or I didn't flip it. I, uh, uh, praise God. That's a good day uh, uh, for Brother Philip uh, uh, when he can get on a piece of farm machinery uh, and not tear something up. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, I called Dad this morning. He said, what are you doing? I, I said, I'm getting ready to bush hog. Uh, he said, you know where the grass is wet to stay off the hillside. I said, I do now. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. God looks after us. He takes care of us. Praise God. Amen. But we need to understand, uh, uh, praise be to God, that, that we have no promise of tomorrow. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, so when I say this, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Uh, we need to live today like today is my last day. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, most people, when they say that, they think, I'm going to go do whatever I want to. Uh, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to hit that. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, we going to live today uh, like it's my last day. Uh, and I want to glorify God uh, with my speech, with my talk, with my walk. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, I want to be uh, a light of city uh, that's set upon a hill uh, that cannot be hid. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, you want to be a witness? Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, then live your life. Uh, pleasing unto God. Uh, be that testimony. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, let people know that you are an overcomer uh, because of the blood of Jesus. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, in Matthew uh, uh, chapter 7, uh, uh, verse 7 and 8, uh, he says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Uh, uh, seek, and ye shall find. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, they a lot of us not seeking. Uh, uh, we're just existing. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, we think if we can make it through the day, uh, uh, praise God, it'll be okay. Uh, uh, but praise be to God. I don't want to just make it through the day. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, I want to be uh, uh, glorifying and edifying unto my King and my Lord and my Savior. Uh, he says, if I be lifted up, uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, he said, I will draw all men unto me. Uh, uh, yeah, praise God. I'm a little down because of the boys. Praise be to God. But I still have my hope. Praise be to God. I still have Jesus. Praise be to God. He said, he'd never leave ye nor forsake thee. Praise God. He'll even go to the ends of the earth with you. To the ends of this world. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Ask and it shall be given you. Uh, seek and you shall find. Uh, and knock and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, for everyone that asketh receiveth. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. We're talking about according to God's will in my life. That when I ask that it's according to his will. If it's in his will for whatever it is, uh, then praise be to God. Uh, it's going through. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, for everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. Praise God. And to him that knocketh it shall be open. Amen. We talking about seeking. Praise be to God. In Isaiah uh, chapter 55. Let me find it here. I like that first uh, 
I read that first scripture. It said H O O. I guess that's how you say that. That's how I'm going to say it. Oh, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters. Amen. I, I, when I read that, I began to think about the Samaritan woman. Amen. Praise be to God when she went to the well uh, to draw water. Uh, and praise be to God. Uh, and she met a man uh, by the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. Uh, uh, the long and the short of it is uh, I will give you uh, uh, water uh, uh, that you'll not thirst again for. Uh, I will give you uh, uh, living waters. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, that will spring up in you uh, like a well. Praise be to God. God, a uh, uh, glory to God. Amen. Hold on, I'll find it here. Here it is, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord. Amen. Praise be to God. Thinking about, see, he says, if you seek, ye shall find. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, uh, whether you're saved or whether you're lost, praise God. If you're lost and you're seeking the Lord, uh, uh, praise be to God, he can be found. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, me as a child of God, the Holy Ghost that lives inside me, I, I can seek uh, the Lord and what he wants me to do for the day. Uh, praise be to God. And if you're having trouble, uh, you're scratching your head a lot thinking, uh, uh, what do I need to do? Uh, uh, what should I do today? Hold me air at verse six. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, we sit around uh, and I used to do it too. Uh, I'd be like, Lord, uh, what's the purpose? Uh, what do I need to do? Uh, what are you calling me into? Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, and I've told you this before. Uh, uh, praise God. But for some reason, uh, uh, some of us ain't getting it. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, but he told him in Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, praise God. Let us come to the conclusion. Huh? Hey, the scoop, the skinny, and the hey, hey. Yeah, glory. He said, fear God. You want to know what your the what God's will in your life is? Fear God. You fear God and you keep his commandments and guess what? You will be found in the will of God. You will be found pleasing unto God. Amen. I thought I had to be some great and glorious thing that I had to do and it had to be something that uh, pop and wow and all this. Uh, uh, but praise be to God, I found out uh, that today uh, if I fear God and I keep his commandments, uh, uh, praise be to God, I am in the center of God's will. And if I seek that, praise God, and I look for that, I look to keep his commandments. Uh, I'm seeking to keep it, praise be to God, in order for me to seek I've got to do a little reading and studying to show myself approved. Praise be to God. I've got to be a workman that is able to divide the whole word of God to rightly divide. Amen. To rightly, to do it right. Praise be to God. That way, if it's right, then I apply it to my life. Praise be to God. Then God will get the glory. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, as we've said before, you know that all things work together to the good of God. Amen. amen. If God is in it, amen, praise be to God, then it will work to the good. Amen. You may not see no good out of it. Praise be to God. You may be going through it. You may be thinking, how in the world can God get the good? How can God get the glory? How can God be edified through this? I'm telling you, if you seek, uh, you shall find. If you knock, it shall be open. And if you ask, glory to God, uh, you shall receive. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Amen. Seek him while he may be found. I remember a time there in the Old Testament there, he talked about how that his spirit would not always strive with man. See, he, even me not being dumb as a box of rocks, not knowing anything about church, praise God, I knew something was up. I knew, praise God, it was more than anything I'd ever seen, anything I'd ever experienced, anything I've ever tasted, anything that I've ever done. Uh, praise be to God. 
And at the age of 27, praise God, uh, Jesus took my sins and he got rid of them. Amen. Praise be to And guess what? He ain't ever brought them back up. Jesus has never brought back up the past. He never rubbed my nose. How many times, how many of y'all got little puppy dogs at the house? Huh? And they pee in the carpet and you take their nose and you rub their nose in the carpet and said, don't do that no more. When Jesus saved me, he picked me up and he set my feet upon a rock. He didn't say, hey, look what I brought you out of. He didn't say, hey, you know, you filthy, ornery, oh, no good, law count thing. You ain't nothing. He lifted me up. And he, he established my goings, praise be to God. He set me on a new path, on a straight and narrow way, praise be to God. Because I was looking for something. I was empty and void within, but praise be to God when Jesus took a bold, when the Holy Spirit, praise be to God, I, I come within me, praise be to God, he filled that emptiness. Amen. But seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Quit waiting till you're in trouble. Huh? I get aggravated. And I do it sometimes too. You know, they got them things they call squillers on your brakes, right? They start squealing, guess what? Time change brakes. How many, how long you stay on a squiller though? Until uh, it goes to the rotor. Until it starts eating the rotor. He's done told you, hey, time to change the brakes. But no, you wait. You try to get a little extra out of it. God will tell you, hey, straighten up. Straighten up. I'm going to wait just a little while longer. I'm going to wait till I'm down and out. Huh, you fell and bumped your head. Praise God. Amen. Hey, hey, his sheep, they hear his voice, and a stranger they will not hear. Praise be to God. When you hear the voice of God and he speaks unto you, uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, how about we listen? Huh? How about we listen? I know I'm the world's worst. Amen. Praise be to God. I thank God. Sunday night I listen to the Lord. I was kind of like Jonah, though, uh, uh, going down the road because uh, Henderson Branch Church ain't but maybe two miles from the house. And there I shot right past it, and I said, Lord, where do you want me to go? And he's like, I just told you right back there. I said, Lord, where do you want me to go? I go there, I'm going to probably end up preaching. I like to just sit back and enjoy myself. Still driving. He said, did I not call you to preach? <laughs> yes, sir. Turn back around. I thought, I'm going to Henderson Branch Church. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Praise be to God. Amen. Yeah, God speaks to us, but sometimes we hard-headed. Amen. And I, as a young Christian, I'd look at preachers, and they, they put off this kind of like they was holier than now kind of attitude and I thought man that dude there never messes up I'm telling you what if you sitting here tonight and you think this dude here never messes up you fell and bumped your head twice amen praise be to God but I'll tell you what I'm farther along today than I was yesterday it don't happen as often as it once did praise be to God why because I found out that if I seek the Lord while he may be found and while he's near and how do I know he's near because he said if I draw nigh unto him huh? yeah get you some if he ain't near, that's on you. Huh? If he ain't close, that's on you. 
Because he said, you draw nine to me, I will draw nine to you. You can read, I think it's book of John, maybe Matthew. Uh, there they called it the pool of Bethesda. Uh, praise be to God. It talked about uh, how an angel would come uh, a certain season. Praise be to God. And they knew when it was. And, and they tried their very best to get to the pool. Amen. They thought if I can get to the pool when, when the water is troubled, when the water it's stirring. Amen. Praise God. Got there. This is how the Lord works. Amen. I said, Lord, if you, if you want me to preach, I'll preach. If you don't, I'll sit there. Amen. Brother Jason's like, I'm gonna let Brother Philip preach tonight. And he's like, he said, man, he said, it's stirring in me. I said, yeah. I said, He's stirring in you. It ain't stirring in me. Amen. Praise be to God. Hey, Monday, it got stirring in me. And it stirred last night. Amen. It's stirring right now. Praise be to God. It gets to stirring within you. And there's nothing else like it. Praise be to God. I don't mistake when God wants me to preach. Praise be to God. Because there's nothing else. It's not feeling. It's not emotion. Praise be to God. It is a movement of God or however you want to say it. Praise be to God. But to know that the poor was troubled and and how the one that was impotent, uh, a lot of impotent folk, but there was one that couldn't make it. He couldn't make it because they cut line. But your cutters, huh? We get out there at school. When I first started working at school, they like, Mr. Rowe, you can cut line. I said, no, I can't. I said, well, but you're a teacher. You can cut line. I said, that ain't right. It didn't take me long to start cutting line. Because <laughs> my little 22-minute lunch, yeah. it went up fast if I stayed in line. But they cut line. Oh, but one day, uh, he came near. Uh, he came near. Amen. Praise be to God. The short of it, he got up. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Jesus came by. Amen. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, she spent all of her money on everything, on physicians. I went here, there, everywhere. But praise be to God. She thought if I could just touch the hem of his garment, praise be. She was seeking glory to God. And she was asking, praise be to God. A little Zacchaeus, he thought if I could climb up in this sycamore tree, because I want to see the Lord, and he's going to come by one day he was seeking praise be to God and he asked the woman with the issue of blood it was drawn up dried up however you want to say it amen and Jesus went to Zacchaeus' house that day huh sometimes you gotta climb a tree amen sometimes you gotta get to the hem of the garment Amen. You've got to draw near. You've got to seek. Amen. Praise God. I know it's Wednesday night and a lot of people miss on Wednesday, but it's no time to be missing. Sunday morning is no time to be missing. Uh, Sunday night, praise God. Don't you think it didn't cross my mind? We ain't having church. I don't have to go to church tonight. Baloney. I go on vacation somewhere or go away. I had meetings before and they'd be on Wednesday and I'd be like, what time we get out? And they say, why? I said, because I'm going to church. They said, well, we can't make it back to our home church. I said, they church is all around. Just drive. Pull in the parking lot, get out and go in. It's not hard. It's not hard. People think, well, I'm on vacation. Let me tell you what, if you can take vacation from God, you may need me to come back and revisit. Put that in your old pipe and smoke it. Huh? If you can take a vacation from God, something ain't right. Amen. I know there's times we have struggles and all that, praise God, but I'm telling you what. Amen, this missing all this space of time and then all of a sudden I'm here four or five days and I miss, oh, whatever. 
Amen. I, I want to find the Lord and I've found him or he found me, whichever it don't really matter. Praise God. But I know that I know that I know. I know, glory to God, that if right now I fall over dead, don't you cry for me. Amen. Don't cry for me. Amen. Because I'm in heaven's country. Praise God. I believe that without a shadow of a doubt. I know what Jesus, I know my Redeemer. I know what He did up Calvary's mountain. I know the blood that He shed has set me free. Amen. Praise God. I'm done. I think my voice is about done too. Amen. I'll ask you to stand. Bow your heads. Hey, don't grow weary. Don't grow weary in well-doing. Don't grow weary in serving God. Don't grow weary in it. Think, well, ain't nothing going right. Well, you want to know what ain't going right? You quit serving God, you're going to find out what ain't going right. Huh? See, this life here is just a vapor. And we all know that death does not discriminate. Young, middle age, old. But when that time comes, what matters is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. When you stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and you're judged according to your works, whether they be good or evil. Yeah, I've got some bad things on my list. Amen, but I'm going to tell you what. Hey, I'm almost halfway. I got 27 years of living lost. After the 15th of this month, if I can make it five more years, I'll be 50-50. I don't live after the flesh anymore. Not on a daily basis. Yeah, it comes up from time to time, but praise God, we're able to recognize. You're able to recognize when the flesh rears its ugly head and you need to put it in its place. Do you need to pray? Come on. Any at all. Amen, I don't just do this because I ain't got nothing else to do. I do this because I don't want anything else to do. I got all kinds of stuff. But I get to come to church. I get to serve God. I don't have to do anything. But it's His good pleasure. And it's my good pleasure that I can call Him my King and my Lord and my Savior. Amen.